Right, here's a chess game where I had the black pieces, which I dislike because white always has the first move and it's kind of like a head start. So here he moved his king pawn forward first, which is the most common first move. And the most common second move for black is to move the king pawn forward too, which is what I usually do. But I decided to mix it up this time and move my bishop pawn forward, which is called the Sicilian defense, to mix it up. And so next I took his queen pawn that he moved forward because it forces him to bring his queen out early in the game, which you should try not to do because the queen can easily get attacked by other pieces early on in the game. And you really want to focus on d developing your other minor pieces like the knights and bishops. All right, so he retreated his queen because he didn't really have any other choice. A lot of times you want to narrow down what pieces to move, and in that case he had no choice but to move his queen. So next I fianchetto my bishop by moving the knight palm forward and moving it onto that nice long diagonal so it acts like a sniper. Now he could have moved his queen over to, onto that diagonal and preventing me from moving my bishop onto the nice long diagonal. If he would have done it, I would have had to move my king pong forward to block his queen from attacking my rook and having that nice little line of attack into my territory. But he didn't move his queen into that area and it allowed me to put my bishop on that nice long diagonal. I don't really know why he made this next move that he did. It's opening up a line of attack onto his rook, not that I could attack it easily. And also if he was to develop his knight into that standard position where it attacks two center squares, it's not as well protected. So my next move was to move that pawn forward, so I opened up and developed the bishop while simultaneously attacking one of his pieces at the same time, because that's what you want to do. And he didn't defend it, so I just took it. So next he moves his pawn forward, attacking my bishop and simultaneously advancing a pawn, which is logical for him. So then it was easy to narrow down the pieces for me to move to be the the bishop because it's being attacked and there's no other move that I can make on him that would put a dent in him so uh, my, my choices were narrowed down to what's the best square to retreat the bishop to and I figured it was that square because putting it in that square it still leaves it out there open in the field and it can roam around free to attack Okay, here he moves his pawn forward, and I knew that what he wanted to do was move it down so that he can attack my knight. So, I decided to move my knight onto that square over there, which probably wasn't the best move because it's getting in the way of my bishop on the nice long diagonal, and, and a bishop is kind of obsolete. What I, when I look back at it, what I realized that I should have done was move my rook pawn forward one space, so... That way, if he were to advance his pawn, I would just take his pawn. And if he was to try to like do a pawn attack and move his rook pawn down, well then, if I was to take that pawn, then his rook pawn would take mine and I would have just taken his rook and he, he couldn't have moved that bishop pawn down because then I would have attacked his rook. So he can't really be an annoyance to my knight then if I would have done that. Next he moves his bishop over there attacking my king and the best way to defend against that kind of check is really to mo move my bishop in front of the king. I, I wouldn't move my knight there and pin him down. It's better to move the bishop in that case. So he moves his rook pawn down and his thought is to get his rook into the action if I were to take his bishop, which I did. And a small downside that he had from that sequence of moves is that he doubled up his pawns there. and. That's not good pawn structure. Although it's only when doubled up pawns are isolated that's really bad. Like he had that pawn to the side of it to protect his other pawns, which isn't so bad. But still, though, I mean, it's a minor downside for him. Next, I moved my rook pawn for two spaces, and that's to help to get my rook into the action. Now, there's actually two ways that he could have taken my pawn there. He could have done ampassant with the further pawn down, or he could take it with that pawn closer to his territory. Right, so I take his pawn back successfully contesting that 
So he takes my rook and I take his rook back. It's just a series of equal trades, but I probably come out positionally because I'm helping to develop my pieces. Next, I move my queen down there to attack him. And it looks to me like I could have gotten his piece here because I thought that there was no way for him to really defend himself. But that was the one move that I didn't see where he could have defended himself. A better move would have probably been to move that knight that's blocking the bishop out of the way so that it can attack that pawn of his and have better firepower in him. I would have been in a much better attacking position if I had done that. Now to tap off my stupidity of moves here, I further block that bishop by moving another knight in front of the that bishop. I really just wasn't thinking my moves through here. So he moves his knight down there and I'm pretty sure that what he wanted to do was move his knight down again so that way he'll check my king and I can't castle and his knight's in my territory in a fairly secure position. So the best way for me to defend against this was to castle moving into a safe position while simultaneously getting my rook into the action. So I moved my knight there attacking his queen because I didn't really have any other moves to do and then he retreated back to there but I'm not sure why. So I moved my knight down there to double up my attack on his pawn over there but for some reason on my next move, I, I didn't take it. I moved there. I have no clue why. My moves with my knights have totally screwed up my game. Yeah, all right. So here I, I was running out of time, and I didn't really know what to do. And and I'm a slow player when it comes to chess because I believe that you should really take your time and think about your moves, which is gives you the best moves. And, of course, don't overthink it either. But slow and steady wins the race supplies very much to chess.